In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do force navigation with the all new Adobe Captivate widgets. So I saw this post uh, on the Adobe Captivate user forum over on Facebook, and it looks like there was some confusion between what some people were answering versus what the original messenger uh, wrote. So I'm going to try to deal with this in this video here, and hopefully it all makes sense. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's one of the widgets. In this case, it's a flip card widget. And, you know, I've done some small customization to it, but you could do a lot more. Here's what the back looks like there. So the key thing to get the whole force navigation thing working or the hidden next button to prevent a user from moving forward or a learner from moving forward until they viewed all the content is, uh, of course, down in the widget properties right here. So if I select the overall widget, we move down to settings. And of course it's set up by default, but move to next slide when the widget completes. The other thing I recommend that you do is go into the TOC and play bar controls with this icon right here. We can of course go into the play bar and do one of two things. We can either disable just the next button, which is this button that you see right here, or you can disable the entire play bar. But remember, if you do that, you're going to need to provide your learners with back and next buttons throughout your course and not just for the flip cards here. Let's do a preview and see how this works. All right, so you can see that the play button is there. I can't click on it, it's disabled. But if I go ahead and click on my flip card widgets until I've flipped them all, suddenly the next button is available and you should be good to go. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.